Yes, yes, yes. And if anybody's seen the formula magnetism workshop and gone through that, you do not get punished if you don't pass the test. A couple of things happen. Um, and here's the deal. I like to tell clients all the time, run into the fire, get burned so bad. <laughs> those, those tests are like no brainers anymore. Um, there is no wrong step in life. There's no wrong step in manifestation. Y you can just make the process a lot quicker. But again, if you're not ready for it, why would you speed that up? You know what I mean? So if you don't pass a test, then the only things that'll happen is you just slow down the process of what you want to come through and another test comes, maybe even two. That's all that happens. There's no, no crazy, um, I will say if you're really heavily living out of ego, so that means, and we have a great YouTube video on that, simply go watch that on our YouTube channel, but that means if you are manifesting things externally to validate you from within, rather than manifesting things from your core wants, again, the example I always like to give for this, even though it's so silly, is let's say you're manifesting a trip to Iceland because you broke up with your ex, it's the cool new spot to go, and you want him, or if your ex is a girl, you want her to see, with her new girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever, that your life is so great and you're so fine and over it. That's manifesting out of ego, external to validate within, where you just need to go strengthen your worth within versus manifesting from your core, like you keep seeing the signs of Iceland and it's just calling to you and sirening for you. That's when you manifest that. So if you are manifesting out of ego, that's where you will usually receive two things, which is like, an earthquaking situations in your life to knock you back into your true authentic self or nothing will come. But that's like the worst I've ever seen again in manifestation is kind of teaching your ego a little bit. And again, it's not punishing you. It's like calling out to you to get in touch with your authenticity and get on that path. But if you're not capable of doing it yourself, the universe will usually do a little earthquake to assist you <laughs> into that. But in terms of passing tests, just means things are slower and that you'll get another to a couple of tests come through. That's it. There's nothing bad that happens. There should be no fear stigma around it. You should not be perfecting yourself over it. If you don't pass the test, it just means you're not there yet. You're like still picking up the lessons. You're still learning. And that's the human experience. That's what we're all on the planet to do. So please let go of the rigidity of passing tests or not and be kind on yourself. It just means you have some more tests to experience and pass and one day you're gonna get like fed up with them that you start passing them. <laughs>